Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to AT&T Stadium, home of the Dallas Cowboys. On Saturday night, it'll be home to PBC on Fox Sports Pay-Per-View, 8 o'clock Eastern, 5 Pacific Time, all brought to you by TGB Promotions and Ringstar Sports and presented by Premier Boxing Champions. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome a living a legend, the four-division world champion from a Panama. Ladies and gentlemen, damas y caballeros, presentando Manos de Pierda, Roberto Duran. And now, ladies and gentlemen, he's being accompanied by his father, Eduardo, and his brother and trainer, Roberto. His record, a perfect one, 39 bouts, 39 victories, 30 of those coming by way of knockouts. Fighting and representing Oxnard, California. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the fast rising and one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world, the undefeated Mikey Garcia. And now, ladies and gentlemen, he is joined alongside by his father, Errol Sr., and his lead trainer, Derek James, a 2012 United States Olympian with an undefeated record, 24 wins, 21 of those coming by way of a knockout, making the third defense of his world championship. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from the Dallas area, the reigning and defending IBF welterweight champion of the world, Errol The Truth Spence Junior. I'm counting my bullets, I'm loading my clips, I'm writing down names, I'm making a list, I'm checking it twice and I'm getting them. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we will you bring up the promoters, Tom Brown and Richard Schaefer from TGB Promotions and Ring Star Sports. This is our main event, Errol Spence and Mikey Garcia. This Saturday at AT&T Stadium on Fox Sports Pay-Per-View. Obviously, this is an incredible opportunity for these two fighters, and I know you both have fought on big stages, in big arenas. But, Errol, let's start with you. We're in Cowboy Stadium. What is this like for you to be here and know that you're just days away? For me, I'm excited. This is a dream come true, fighting in my hometown and fighting in front of my friends and my family. So for me, this is a dream come true. I'm excited. I can't wait to put on a great performance and just, you know, seeing Mikey Garcia face through this whole, this whole training camp just made me more focused and more hungry to put on a great performance for you guys. Mikey, yesterday at the arrivals, fans ch chanting your name. Did it surprise you, the turnout you had there? I mean, I know you fought in Texas nine times, but did, did that surprise you? Look, um, it's always nice to get that welcoming, you know, and uh, I know I have fans everywhere, and like I said, it, you know, here in Texas, it's almost like a second home. I fought here so many times. I've won two world titles here. I know my fans are going to show up and show me that support, and they did uh, yesterday at the arrival. Um, you know, I was surprised. I, I thought we were going to have you know, a lot of uh, Spence uh, Jr. fans as well. And, um, you know, it was predominantly all of my fans. So a very, uh, very special moment for me. Errol, obviously the storyline throughout this has been your size advantage. Do you think, despite the fact that he is bulked up, that you will be able to dictate the pace in this fight? Um, size advantage won't matter. Sk skill for skill, talent for talent. I'm more dominant than him in everything, in every aspect. It doesn't matter. So, I mean, they can say the size, but the size won't matter. I beat him in anything he want to do. If he want to box, I beat him in that. If he want to fight, I beat him in that too. So, whatever the game plan they got going, it won't work. Thoughts on that, Mikey? Well, that's exactly the way I feel about myself. You know, I got all the tools, all the skills needed to, to beat him. Like I said, you know, it, I'm better than him in every other way. You know, when you come to timing, when it comes to speed, when it comes to reflex, defense, no matter what, you name it, I'm better. 
Errol, do you think he has the power to knock you out? I don't believe anybody had the power to knock me out. It's not how I think. It's not how my, you know, my camp thinks. So, I mean, that's out the window if he thinks he's, he's going to get a knockout. But I hope he try though. Are you going to be trying for that, Mikey? Look, we're here to uh, win this fight. I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to win. You know, if I can hurt him in any of the rounds, I'm definitely going to try to stop him. You know, but I'm also prepared to go 12 rounds if, if that's what it takes to win this fight. Errol, you've been the favorite in Vegas and, and everywhere. Most, most guys have been picking you, but there have been some who haven't. Guys like Sugar Ray actually chose Mikey Garcia. Uh, Tyson's a fan of Garcia. Does that bother you when you hear those legends' names, or, or do you, does that not matter? Uh, no, it don't bother me at all. I mean, you know, they're legends. They're entitled to their own opinions. I mean, I look at, I look up to them. Um, you know, their fights and things like that. They was great, great fighters and great boxers. And um, you know, I respect their opinions. They think that, you know, that's their opinion. That's it. Does that give you confidence, Mikey? Well, it um, it shows that you know it's the people who have done it in the ring, the ones who are legends like Sugar Ray, you know, and and they pick me or they see me coming out with that victory, you know, it just gives me that extra motivation, you know, that I got to prove to everybody that I got everything it takes to win this fight, you know, against what everybody else says, whatever, you know, media expert, you know, says, um, they're not the ones getting in the ring. They've never been in the ring, but the ones who have, you know, will be picking me and that's what it's about, you know. I got to go in there on Saturday night, show them why I chose to pick on this fight and why I wanted this fight. You know, I'm here to make history, and this is the fight that's going to do that for me. You know, the, the IBF mandates that you guys come in for the weight check on Saturday. You can only be 10 pounds over that 147-pound limit. Errol, you will still have the whole day to eat, hydrate. What do you think you will weigh when you walk into the ring on Saturday night? Um, I don't know. I won't be too heavy. Um, you know, I'm already on weight right now, so I'm in a 10-pound limit. won't be an issue at all, and, um, you know, I won't get too big because I don't want to be sluggish or, you know, have extra pound on me. So I won't be too big. I don't know, probably 160. How about you, Mikey? I'll probably be right around where I normally walk around. Um, you know, I'll probably come in at about 150. I don't, I don't feel that, you know, it's a good advantage for me to try to gain weight or hydrate too much. Um, you know, I don't plan on, on being big and huge and and bulk up like that. Um, you know, I want to be sharp. I want to be quick, you know. And, you know, I, I'm naturally not even a big guy. So I, I, it would be crazy for me to think I'm going to be up, you know, too, many, too, too much in, in weight. Robert, really quick for you. Um, I know you guys brought in guys like 20 pounds heavier to spar with Mikey through the, for this camp. What did they tell you about, what, about his power and his speed? Well, look, not only have all of our sparring partners told us, but... You know, all of Mikey's opponents, you know, they, they've said the same thing, you know, that un until they're in the ring, they realize how strong and hard Mikey hits. And uh, that's one thing that uh, Errol Spence doesn't know. And he'll find out uh, this Saturday. Derek, we saw in one of the features, uh, Errol had been up for 24 hours. Um, he says he naturally isn't, isn't a guy who sleeps more than five and si or six hours. Is that correct, Errol? Sometimes. Sometimes. Is this week, do you have to kind of make him chill? Is he the kind of guy who you kind of have to make him relax in advance of the fight? No, he's the kind of guy that um, he's his own man. So he knows what to do the week of the fight. He's getting his rest. He's getting everything he needs. And um, he, he's his own guy. So he knows how to run his own business. And he knows what he should be doing what, what he shouldn't be doing. So he's getting enough rest. And uh, he'll be ready for Saturday. Errol, does it bother you that Robert and Mikey feel like they're going to win this fight? They're going to dominate? Well, maybe not dominate. I, forgive me on that word. But do you think that, does it bother you that they think they're going to win this fight? It don't bother me at all. I mean, that's what he's supposed to think. I mean, he's a four-division champion for a reason. Um, he has a great corner. They're supposed to think they're going to win. I mean, at the end of the day, they called me out, so they obviously think, you know, they see something and they think that they're going to win the fight. So it doesn't bother me. I, I like a fighter that's, you know, that's as confident as I am. And, um, you know, like I said, during the other press conferences, I hope you keep that same image that they had outside the ring, inside the ring too. All right. In terms of, of this matchup, do, you, do either one of you 
think that this fight goes the distance? Errol? I don't know, but we, our training camp, we train for a hard 12 rounds fight. I mean, we train very hard for 12 rounds, a grueling fight. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, psych myself out and say I'm going to get a first round, a third round knockout, and it doesn't happen. So we train for the hard fight. And if it doesn't happen and then I knock them out earlier than that, then that's a bonus. But, you know, in training camp, we train for the distance. We didn't just train for a three round, four round fight because, you know, anything could happen in a fight. Mike, do you think this one will go the distance? Look, like I said, I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to win this fight. Um, we also trained very hard. We had great sparring. We had a great camp. You know, uh, we can go 12 rounds. You know, that's that's the the limit on the on the fight. 12 round fight. You know, it's a championship fight. But um, like I said, if if I get to hurt my opponent, if I get to you know, drop him and, and, and hurt him and possibly take him out, I'm definitely going to jump on him. You know, we get to stop the fight early. Well, even better for me, I come home, you know, much sooner. Errol, who's a more technical fighter? Um, I am. Is he, is, he the, is he the toughest opponent you'll have faced to date? On paper, he is. I don't know if he's the most toughest opponent until we get in the ring. You got to ask me after that. Sure. Mikey, thoughts on that? Well, Saturday night he's going to find out, you know, why I chose to fight him and why I picked this fight. Like um, all my other opponents, you know, they don't see anything, you know, flash. They don't see anything special. But when they get inside the ring, then they realize that I am special in a different way. I'm not your other opponent. Stop talking about your other opponents like I wanted them. But you will be another opponent just on Saturday night. We'll see. Yeah, we will. Keep that same energy. Keep yeah, that will. same energy you've been having. We're going to find out. I'm going to act all humble on here when you're in front of me, but when you're doing different interviews with Ellie and all the other stuff, you want to talk trash, your, da <laughs> your, uh, your dad and your your brother, you want to say other other things, but once you get here, you want to be humble and show a lot of respect and things like that. Now, nah, keep that same energy you had when you're in Cali at your gym that you have here. It's the same attitude I've always had. You know, uh -huh. I'm very confident in my skills and my abilities. I know what I can do. I know what I got to do on Saturday night. Well, I think this is the most I've seen you two kind of go at it. You've been really respectful. It, when do you flip the switch, Errol? Is it, is it now? A lot of guys like Pacquiao says when he gets in the ring, that's when the, flip, the switch flips. When does it switch for you? Um, I mean, it's, I don't really have a switch. I mean, I, I'm calm 24-7. I'm calm. I can talk to Mikey Garcia in the locker room and come out during the fight and try to knock his head off. I mean, my switch stay on. I stay on, I stay on go. And I'm always ready, I'm always prepared. So, I mean, there's no switch for me. I'm naturally like this, I'm calm and things like that. I mean, I've been ready to go eight weeks ago. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm ready for fight night, I'm pumped up. I'm really tired of doing these press conferences and seeing him. I'm ready for fight night to put on a great show and another great performance. Fair enough. Mikey, how about for you? Do you, do you have to, does your switch flip now on fight week or is it when it's closer to the fight? Look, um, I'm naturally always pretty calm as well, but um, you know, I know what I got to do on fight night. I know, you know, all the work I put in, you know, for all the weeks in camp, you know, I didn't, I didn't put all that time and all that effort for nothing, you know. Saturday night is a day that I got to execute. So I've always said, you know, I'm always very calm, very, very collected, but once we get inside of that ring, everything does change. So I would say, you know, once I get inside that ring is when that switch does turn on. But um, I got to be calm. I got to be confident. You know, that's that's just the way I am. And uh, I'm ready to get get it on now. Do you have to fight the best fight of your life? I definitely do have to fight the best fight of my life. You know, if, if I don't, then I can't overcome the, the challenge. You know, this is a huge challenge. This is a big fight. You know, it's not easy to do what I'm doing. Not many are daring to do what I'm doing. And that's why I chose this fight. I want to make history. And in order to accomplish that, I need to fight the fight of my life. And you will see the best out of me on Saturday night. All right, on that note, let's open it up to our members of the media here. First question. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, question for Errol. Errol, uh, there's a lot of great welterweights in the world, uh, Crawford, Porter, Keith Thurman, et cetera. Mikey could have chosen to fight any of those. He chose to fight you. Is that, did that become personal when he did that, or do you just look at it as this is a, another fight and another opponent for me? Um, I feel like, you know, you know money-wise, legacy-wise, you know, I'm the fight to happen. I mean, Sean's cool, but, I mean, Sean's not selling out anything. 
I mean, we fought in California. There was nobody there. So, um, and Sean already decided to fight his mandatory because I wanted to fight Sean. If Sean wanted to fight, this Mike Garcia fight probably wouldn't have happened. But, you know, he got busy trying to, you know, take the easy way out. So, you know, I mean, Mike Garcia for taking this fight. I respect him for that. Lance? How you doing, Mikey? Um, on the shuttle ride over here, we had the pleasure of sitting with Roberto Duran. And one of the things that he said was, is that in a toss-up fight like this, fights are not determined strictly by brute force. They can be determined by intelligence, and they usually are. How do you win this fight through intelligence? Well, that's, that's what I'm keep, I keep reminding people. You know, you don't win a fight just by the size and the weight. You know, that is a factor, and that's a factor that I got to overcome. But we fight smart, we fight intelligent, you know, pick our shots, be very smart about how we place our feet, you know, when, the time, a lot of things. Um, and that's how we win this fight, you know. I, I believe I'm better in every other category when it comes to footwork, timing, reflexes, defense. I mean, you name it, I, I believe I'm better. And I just got to execute on Saturday night. Great, thank you. Hey, Errol, uh, how you doing? Um, Mikey clearly sees something in you that makes him confident that he's going to beat you. What do you think that is? Um, I mean, I don't know. I can't, I can't worry about that. I let my coach, you know, figure out my flaws and the kinks in my armor. And um, we work on that during training camp. So, I mean, everybody sees something in somebody when they're looking from the outside. I mean, it's a lot harder once you're inside the ring. So, he'll find that out Saturday night. Errol, what does this win do for your legacy? I feel like this win makes me pound for pound number one. Um, you know, Mikey Garcia has a great record. Um, he has a huge fan base, 39 no, 30 knockouts. And um, I feel like, you know, this turns me into a, a star. I mean, everybody wants to be that mega star. Everybody's trying to take the place of Floyd Mayweather and become the face of boxing. And I feel like, you know, this – takes me on the right track to become the face of boxing and become the number one pound for pound fighter in the world. Mikey, you've said that in the past that, you know, this wasn't your dream all along, right? But you're here now and you have new challenges ahead of you. What do you want this to do for your legacy and what do you think it does for your legacy? Look, this, this fight, you know, getting this victory will forever leave my name you know, in the history books of boxing, you know, I'm here to create legacy. I'm here to make history. And this fight does that. You know, no other fighter is doing what I'm doing. No other fighter is daring to do what I'm doing. And, and that's what I'm about. I'm about big challenges, big obstacles. And just to show everybody that I'm the best, I need to take on these type of fights. So this, this fight on Saturday night is going to do that for me. Well, there's a lot of fans at home who maybe haven't purchased this pay-per-view I'm going to leave it to the fighters to tell you why you should watch on Saturday night. Mikey will send you up here for some closing comments. Well, everybody who, um, who's here, I want to thank everybody. You know, I want to thank everybody for, for being here present. And, you know, all, the, all the, the attention is real. You know, all the commotion, all the buzz about this fight is for real. It's not often that you get a fight like this. You know, we got two of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in their prime, undefeated champions facing each other. You know, it doesn't happen often. So if you want to witness some history, you better buy that pay-per-view. You better watch it because this is history in the making. You know, Saturday night, I will become five-division world champion. I will dethrone Spence. I will become the new welterweight champion, and that's history. So make sure you guys watch that. I see you smiling. Errol, I'll let you come up here and respond to that. Appreciate everybody coming out. I mean, everybody should tune in to watch this fight. Like you said, we're both undefeated. He's 39-0. I'm 24-0, 21 knockouts. He has 30 knockouts. He's a four-division champion. I have the crown. He's coming to take that crown. This is a legendary fight. This is what fighters made of. I mean, it's been a lot of fights throughout history where young, where the little guy comes up and fights the big guy, and uh, it's a great fight. So um, just like when Marvin Hagler fought Duran. So, I mean, you can't never write out the, the little guy with what people saying, oh, we're going to write out the little guy. Earl Spence is going to win this easy. This is not going to be an easy fight. This is going to be a hard fight. This is going to be a legendary fight. 
You got two top pound for pound fighters fighting, and everybody need to order this fight on pay per view. Or if you can come, come to the AT&T Stadium and watch your hometown kid take on a great champion like Mikey Garcia. He really thinks he's gonna take this title and take it back to California. It's not happening. I feel like I am the best fighter in the world. I know I'm the best fighter in the world, and we're gonna show it come Saturday night. You know, they, they've been real cocky, talking a lot of crap, him and his brothers. And we're gonna put on a great show and a great performance. It will be a one-sided massacre, I promise you that. And I'm gonna punish him. He's gonna wish he took his brother's advice not to take this fight. Thank you. All right, well, on that note, don't sit too comfortable because we're gonna have you guys do a little final face-off. Please step to center stage for our final face-off. If you enjoyed that clip, make sure you click uh, somewhere around here and subscribe from Fight Highlights to exclusive interviews. We have got everything you need as a boxing fan right here on PBC on Fox.